Welcome back to the channel guys. Check this out. We've got Meshcore running on this really cool little Android device with a keyboard. So as usual, since the last video, Meshcore has gone through quite a lot of updates and the updates are mainly around the Meshcore app itself. So if you don't know already, Liam Cottle, the guy behind the Meshcore app, has been doing some amazing work lately. Um, so this is the Android version of the app. There's also an iOS version of it now, which you can test via test flight. So it's, it's available now. The links to the website are down below in the description. But today what I want to talk about are the new features of the Meshcore app. So as you probably know already, Meshcore uses little lower radios like this to actually send messages over the air without the internet, without any kind of infrastructure at all. So you can tap messages here, let's say hello to one of the locals on the public channel. You can see the message went out there, the little light lit up, and PR would have received that on his Meshcore device. And we can see here, he's just replied. And we got some other users saying hello as well. <laughs> so I've woken everybody up. So these two guys are fairly local. One's about three kilometers away and the other one is about seven or eight. Now the reason why this works, obviously little devices like this are not gonna be able to reach that sort of distance just sitting on my desk here. But we have things called repeaters and basically a repeater is a device like this which you can put high up. So you can put it up somewhere high like a loft space or attic or even better if you're in a really high um, building. You can place one of these somewhere high and it will repeat your signal out so that others can actually receive it. So in the latest update to the Meshcore app, you can now manage your repeaters in the app. So you can see here at the top of the list, we've got Rack Repeater, that's this device here. If we tap on this, we enter a login screen. Now, if guest login is activated, which it is by default, you can just skip the password and hit login. This will then bring up a screen which shows you lots of stats from you, for your repeater, like battery we've got here, airtime, uptime, last RSSI received, lots of useful information for people that wanna sort of access that in this screen here. And you can basically refresh that information just by hitting that, that little uh, button down the corner. So back to the screen, if we go into this again, but this time we enter our password. So the password's entered, we hit log in, and now we actually are logged in as an admin. So we can do all sorts of stuff with this now. You can see the screen of the, the stats, but we now have this CLI feature. So we can actually issue CLI commands to our repeater um, like you can in the serial console. And this is really cool because if we update repeater firmware, which is actually not that often because repeaters are pretty simple on MeshCore, they just repeat packets. But later down the line, if features are added, this CLI makes it easy because you don't have to update the app, you can just use the CLI directly. So we can send an advert from our repeater to make it appear on the mesh and you should get a response back from that repeater to say it's happened. We can also do clock sync to set the time because these things don't usually have real time clocks built in. So we should be able to do that. Also, there's a nice feature up here which you can use to get command help. This is really smart. You can search for the commands. You can get full information about each command. It just makes it super easy. So for example, if you want to do an advert, you just hit advert and then you can just do that. And what's really useful about this is you can also check what settings are actually stored on the device with these get commands as well. So basically as things go forward, what we're gonna end up with is a more of a GUI interface for this. Liam's actually building that now, so the chances are by the time this video actually drops. But as of now, you can do everything from the CLI. And as I said before, if new features come along and they haven't been integrated into the GUI part of the app, then they'll be available on the CLI, and that will just help you get the commands quicker um, if there hasn't been an app update, which there probably will, because it's just on fire at the moment, our Liam. You can also check on and manage repeaters from the map screen directly by just going to the map, tapping on the repeater, remote management, and then you can check stats on that particular repeater. And we've got a message come in. And you will actually see from here your last RSSI um, at the repeater, because it's probably most likely that your packet is the last one that the repeater's heard. So as usual, this app is available on the Meshcore website. You just go to Meshcore Apps and you'll see it here. So you can download this from the Google Play Store or you can download the APK directly and install it on your Android. For the iOS version, it might take a little while before this appears because there's a process you have to go through to get apps on the App Store. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just hit download APK. We're gonna download the Meshcore um, APK to our Android phone here. And then we're gonna open 
and we're going to install the app. Once you've installed it, you can then connect to your mesh cord device. You have to allow the Bluetooth and then you can connect to obviously this one here we've got. Um, so we're going to pair and connect to this one. The default pin code is one, two, three, four, five, six. Going to pair to that and then we should connect to our device and you'll see um, everything populate once that comes up. So here are all the contacts stored on this T1000 here. Great little device, I'll leave a link in the description to this. You can also order it via our website, but it's just basically an affiliate link for now. MeshCore store is coming soon, so more information on that will follow. So we can see the repeater here. Now repeater management you can use, you've just got to wait for this little kind of time out to go. But if you want to support the developer and support MeshCore, you can by unlocking the app for 4 dollars 100% of that goes to the app developer Liam. He's worked so hard on this, so go support him. It's just a kind way of showing your appreciation. So for that you get remote managed unlimited repeaters, terminal style command line interface, quick search for repeater commands, unlocked on all of your devices, no more wait timer. But if you don't want to pay you can just hit continue and then you can get into it that way no problem so that is about it for this one if you're wondering what this device is this is a unihertz titan pocket of course it hasn't got lower built in but hmm never say never this device here is actually a Heltec V3 in a nibbler case. I'll leave the description below. The nibbler case is from Zero Fox 3D. Well known, well renowned for doing some amazing um, cases for the nodes. And this particular firmware running on here is super cool. It's actually by a guy on Discord called FD Lamotte. And he's been working really hard on this firmware. And this is really cool because you can kind of use this as a bit of a pager. Sorry about the screen refresh going on there at the moment. Um, because when you're not connected to the phone, it will actually show you the messages on the screen there. Super cool. It's great to see development like this happening just in the community. That's what MeshCore encourages. We're all about being a cool community. Edgy, in fact, I've, I've heard somebody say, but I think that was supposed to be derogatory. But yeah, anyway, we support developers that want to get involved and we'll give you as much help as we can on the core side of the code to make your job easier achieving what you want to achieve with MeshCore. So as I say, there's a Discord, my Discord. You can come and hang out there. Just a cool place to be. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.